Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Thomas here, one four for the Wrestling Marks of Excellence, which you can hear each and every Thursday night on Fox Sports Radio, 96.9 FM, 1340 AM. Well, let's get to the Monday Night Raw, the first Raw that Paul Heyman is in charge, and we see things blowing up and exploding. Uh, Bobby Lashley, we kicked off the show with Bobby Lashley in Braun Strowman in a Falls Count Anywhere match. These two guys we saw in previous weeks have an arm wrestling match. They had a tug of war, and now they're finally in a Falls Count Anywhere match. And they went throughout the arena, ended up on the ramp, and then we saw Braun Strowman put Bobby Lashley through the Titan Tron wall. And my phone was blowing up, getting text messages. Yo, is this real? Is this legit? People calling. If it was legit, you wouldn't have heard all the extra explosions. But I like it. Don't get me wrong. I do like the how WWE is doing different things. How Paul the Paul Heyman era of Monday Night Raw had a different feel. How you saw different things with the wrestlers. You can see a little bit more intensity uh, from these guys. This is a good storyline for Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley, who was really basically doing nothing. Now this morning, everyone's talking about Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman, even on social media, uh, talking about how they went through the wall. And this was fun. It's better than the exploding ring, and the ring always constantly breaking. But they put him through the Titan Tron wall. Uh, both of them were taken to local hospitals, as reported by uh, Renee Young and every other reporter that was on Monday Night Raw. Mentioned that they went to the hospital. And further updates will be given, I'm sure, on SmackDown Raw. Or SmackDown, that they will give updates on Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley. But it was a good way to start off Monday Night Raw. Then we moved on to New Day. Uh, Xavier Woods and Big E Langston taking on the Viking Raiders, Viking Experience, uh, War Raiders, whatever you want to call them this week. Uh, then we see Jamo Samoa Joe get involved into the match. And guess like the way they normally do it, it became a six-man tag. Six-man tag, the Viking Raiders and Samoa Joe taking on New Day in this match going back and forth Xavier Woods spent most of the time in the ring did give the hot tag to a Big E but Langston Big E flying all over the place but it, at the end of the day it was Samoa Joe putting the WWE champion to sleep Samoa Joe puts Kofi Kings to sleep Kofi didn't tap out he just went to sleep because of the the Kakina Clutch, a very decent match here on Monday Night Raw with this, these six guys. Good to see new talent uh, coming up on Monday Night Raw. More of a Viking experience there. I was able to get to see them. Uh, Joe, hopefully, hopefully, at Extreme Rules, will become your new WWE champion. I am. I love Kofi Kingston, don't get me wrong, but I like Samoa Joe. Tired of seeing Samoa Joe get to the dance, but never leave home, never go home with a girl. And that's what happened with Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe's always getting into the title picture, but never walk away with the title. And this would be a great time for Samoa Joe to become your new WWE champion uh, at Extreme Rules. We'll, we'll see in the next couple of weeks if it happens. Uh, then we saw Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins take on Mike Bennett, Mike Canellis, and Maria Canellis. Well, we heard and we found out that Maria Canellis says she was pregnant. Don't believe that or not. Don't believe it. Says she couldn't get in the ring because she was pregnant. Why take the match if you knew you're pregnant in the first place? Nonetheless, when Mike Bennett walked out of 205, I guess he walked right into Monday Night Raw. So he's on Monday Night Raw. Uh, introduction to Mike Bennett on Monday Night Raw, who took on Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins, which, of course, as you see in the picture, Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch won uh, this match. And I was said it on the last week's show of Wrestling Marks of Excellence. Once again, what you can hear on iTunes and Google Play Stitcher, that it will be hard-pressed for WWE to find mixed tag teams for Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins to prepare for. As we know, they will take on Barry Corbett and Lacey Evans at Extreme Rules. Winner take all. So, Barry Corbett and Lacey Evans wins. They will become the Universal Champion, will be Barry Corbett, and will become the Raw Women's Champion, which will be Lacey Evans. But nonetheless, Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins picked up a win here on Monday Night Raw. Uh, then we saw The Miz taking on a walk. Who wants to walk with Elias, Elias in a two out of three fall. Well, the men's picked up a win, uh, picked up the win out of two out of three falls. What is WWE doing with Elias? It's good for him to do his in-ring promos. It's good for him to get on his guitar and sing. But in the last year or so, Elias has just been there, hasn't done anything, hasn't been in any meaningful, meaningful feuds, haven't done anything. We saw him go to SmackDown. We saw him come back to Raw. They're just bobbling this guy around. And people still like Elias because it's his, because he, he's a natural heat seeker, but they have to do something better with him than just allow him to bounce back and forth between shows and to stay in the ring and sing. 
but nonetheless, Miz picked a win. Miz is still a A list player, and it was good to see the Miz pick up on w Monday Night Raw. Uh, then we moved on to this is the funniest part of the night. This 24 7 title is hilarious. Uh, everyone loves it. R Truth, and let's give Drake Maverick some credit too. R Truth and Drake Maverick is making are uh, making the 24/7 title relevant. People want to see what happened. Drake, shout out to Drake Maverick and his wife Renee for allowing WWE to be, invade their wedding with the 24 title gimmick. Now he brings his wife onto Monday Night Raw and told her, "Honey, we're gonna go on a honeymoon. I'm not gonna do anything with the 24 title, 24/7 title." And R Truth is tempting him all night long, and Drake Maverick's like, "Look, his opportunity. I, I can be 24/7 champion." Nonetheless, he did not do it. It was the match that was supposed to be going on. It supposed to be on No Way Jose taking on Cesaro. Uh, Cesaro got mad and ended up beating up No Way Jose anyway. Drake Maverick did not uh, get on R2 for the pin. But later on in the night, after later on in the night on Monday Night Raw, Drake Maverick became the new 24-7 champion. And he's on his way to his honeymoon. Uh, he pinned R2 in the back, hit him with a suitcase, pinned R2 for the one, two, and three. And R2... Uh, is no longer the 24-7 champion. I'll be interested to see how the honeymoon goes with Renee Michelle or Renee Maverick, whatever she, Renee, what she, whatever she's going by these days, and Drake Maverick along with R-Truth. R-Truth may pop out of nowhere. Renee and R Renee and Drake may be getting ready to get their thing going. He thinks is Renee laying in the bed, and R-Truth is laying there, and next day, you know, on top of him is R-Truth, for the, and the referee comes out of nowhere. One, two, three, pin. Maybe they're in a the shower. It is intriguing. Next day, the next couple of days on social media will be very interesting to see how Drake Maverick or how our truth interacts with Drake Maverick as he's on his honeymoon. Then we had the main one of the main events of the night. We had Ricochet taking on AJ Styles. AJ Styles picked up a quick win over Ricochet for the US title, but another referee comes out and Ricochet's foot his foot was underneath the ring. Uh, and so they changed and restarted the match. And then at the Ricochet got a pin out of nowhere. AJ Styles just couldn't take it anymore. And he turned heel again, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. You wanted it and you got it. The club is back together again. The club on Monday Night Raw. Good for Anderson and Gallows. Uh, they have a prominent role on Monday Night Raw now. Shout out to Paul Heyman for putting the guys back together. The fans wanted it and we got it. They beat up poor Ricochet. And left Ricochet Lane in the ring. Man, WWE, just because you put somebody else in charge. I can just imagine Paul Heyman at the beginning of Monday Night Raw giving one of those speeches that he usually gave in ECW back in the day. They don't like us. They don't care about us. They don't think we'd never be in anything. And the guys are pumped up. And we saw it. The energy was different from this Monday Night Raw. If you didn't think the energy was different, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about Monday Night Raw. But then we go outside. Even after Raw ended or Raw was on, they introduced a new tag team to Monday Night Raw. Don't know if they're going to be there full time, but they are still the NXT champions. And that is the Street Profits. The Street Profits, Montez Ford, Adrian Dawkins, are on Monday Night Raw. But this what happened on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. The WWE Instagram page. I don't know who's running the Instagram. It may be a summer intern. It may be somebody who's been there for a while. They may be fired after this comment. As you can see, WWE, WWE the NXT Tag Team Champion, AEW, here on Raw. AEW, you watching the wrong show. Did you mean R on Raw? Seemed like maybe been an autocorrect, but AEW's capitalized. Um, not good for business. And I can just imagine right now, whoever that is, whoever he or she may be, may not be with the company right now. I can see Vince McMahon or the powers that be saying, you're fire. And the person trying to explain himself, but my fingers are fat. No, bump it. I don't care. AEW was mentioned again on Monday Night Raw. But nonetheless, Street Profits, uh, whether they on say they're going to bring the swag back to mm, the tag team division on Monday Night Raw. Street Profits versus U Usos confirmed. And we'll see the Street Profits versus maybe see Street Profits versus Usos. Street Profits versus the Revival. So you can bring the swag back to NXT. Don't know if they're up full time or don't know if they're up full time on Monday Night Raw. They still have the, the NXT titles, which they could lose on Wednesday night. So we'll see how the Street Profits progress on Monday Night Raw. Hope they bring them up for a while and put them back uh, just to see how the fans will react to them. But whoever put this on Instagram, um, we're not hiring. You might be looking for a job this morning because you definitely are in a doghouse with WWE. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, but Monday Night Raw, all in all, was a good Monday Night Raw. was better than 
past Monday Night Raws, you can see the change that Paul Heyman is instituting, bringing some guys up, bringing some girls up, adding some matches that people actually care about, and putting some excitement in the ring. Uh, it was a good performance by all. Want to interested to see how SmackDown goes this week with Eric Bischoff? Hey, leave a comment below. How would you rank this Monday Night Raw compared to the previous Monday Night Raws? If you think I'm foolish, leave that comment in the comment section below. But also make sure you tune into the Wrestling Marks of Actions uh, this week on Fox Sports Radio 1348 and 96.9 FM. Make sure you subscribe to us on iTunes. Make sure you subscribe to us on Google Play. Make sure you leave a five-star review. Make sure you leave a comment here. Also, check out some of our other videos uh, that we have. Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on, on this Raw review. Catch you tomorrow. Catch you tomorrow as I will do SmackDown as well. Make sure you check us out. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not confirmed, consider yourself denied. Ladies and gentlemen, talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.